Welcome back to the course on Forex Trading. In today's tutorial, we will be talking about pip value. Now, we already know what a pip is. It represents a unit of change in the quotation of a currency. Pip value will allow us to translate pips into dollars. It will help us understand how a certain number of pips means a certain amount of profit on our account. It will allow us to calculate these profits, losses, and ultimately forex risks. So as you can imagine, today's tutorial and the next tutorial are very important for us to continue and with this course and proceed to live real trading. So to start with, let's imagine an example. Let's imagine that we entered into a trade and the market has moved a certain number of pips, which is represented by uh, the pips variable here on the left. Also, we know that we had a specific volume of our transaction, which is represented by the lots variable on the right. So together, these two variables combined will determine pip value for this transaction. So this is important to understand that pip value is not just a um, function of the currency pair that you're looking at. Pip value depends on the number of pips the currency pair has moved and also on the volume of your transaction. So if you enter um, into a transaction with a higher number of lots, then your pip value will be higher. If you enter with a lower number of lots, your pip value will be lower. Um, let's have a look at this in a basic uh, conceptual uh, example. So here we have um, the euro dollar chart on the right. The price is 1.23228. Um, price moves up a bit and goes to 1.23478. That's approximately a movement of 25 pips. So now let's imagine that we had entered into the market with a buy order at the lower level and exited the market at the higher level. So if our buy order had a volume of 0 0.1 lots, then we got a certain amount of profit from this transaction. If our buy order was 1.0 lots, then we got much more profit. In fact, 10 times more profit from this transaction. If our buy order was 5 lots, then we got even more profit from this transaction. 50 times more than in the original case. So that is exactly what we mean when we say that pip value is both a function of how much the currency pair has moved and how much you have invested into this particular trade. Those are the basic concepts around pip value. And if you understand that, then that will be well and truly enough for you to grasp the concepts of live real trading. What we're going to do now in this tutorial is we're going to look at this particular example of the euro dollar in more detail and actually go through the calculations that will tell us uh, the, how to translate pips into dollars. And then we will proceed further to derive a general formula for pip value. So if you don't want to get into the mathematics, then by all means, skip the rest of this tutorial and move on to the next one. At the beginning of the next tutorial, I will bring up the result that we'll get in the current tutorial and you'll be able to just move forward with the result. However, if you do want to um, participate in the maths, then uh, feel free to stick around. We're going to dive into it right now. So let's um, look at this example that we talked about just now in more detail. There's our um, chart on the right. Uh, the price moved up 25 pips. So let's calculate the value of the euros that we bought at the moment when we entered into the transaction. The value of um, the euros that we bought is calculated as the number of lots times 100,000 units of base currency times the price at point one. So if we replace those, that'll be one lot. We'll look at an example where we uh, bought one lot. So one lot times 100,000 euros times 1.23228 dollars per euro. And that gives us 123,228 dollars. Now let's calculate the value at point two at the top. Value at point two is calculated in a very similar fashion one lot times 100,000 euros times 1.23478 dollars per euro. So here we're using the new price. 
and the new value is $123,478. Now let's calculate the change in value. The change in value is equal to value 2 minus value 1, and in this case it's $250. And obviously the pip value is going to be equal to the change in value divided by the change in pips. And in our case, it's $250 divided by 25 pips because, as you can recall, the price moved up by 25 pips. And that gives us a pip value of $10 per pip. That was quite simple and straightforward. All we had to do was take the difference in values, which we calculate separately, and divide by the difference in pips. Now let's look at a general form of this calculation. So to start off with, we calculate the change, which is value 2 minus value 1. Value 2 is lots times 100,000 units of base currency times price 2. Value 1 is lots times 100,000 units of base currency times price 1. We can um, bring in the brackets and leave price 2 minus price 1 within the brackets and take lots times 100,000 units of base currency outside of the brackets. Next, we can replace price 2 minus price 1 with delta pips. And we know that regardless of whether we're using a four-digit or five-digit broker, PIPS is always 0 0.0001. So here we're replacing price 2 minus price 1 with delta PIPS times 0 0.0001. And next, we um, get rid of the 100,000 times 0 0.0001, which gives us 10. So the change in value is always equal to lots times 10 times delta pips and is measured in the units of quoted currency. So now if we proceed to calculate pip value, we need to take the change and divide it by the number of pips that the currency has moved. So if we plug in the previous result into this formula, we'll get lots times 10 times delta pips divided by delta pips. And if we um, simplify this formula even further, we'll get lots times 10. So this gives us a result that pip value is always equal to lots times 10 and is measured in units of quoted currency. So this is a very important formula to remember and we'll talk about it further in the next tutorial.